Okay, let's make a video for you fuckers. <laughs> I'm joking, you guys aren't really bad. It's just, I haven't been able to, I did a traditional video and I wasn't able to uh, uh, download it, like I said, and that really makes me angry because I had finally used my Arteza wash to do this, and it sucks. Here's the, uh, here's the pipette. So, um, let me show you. I, I had Arteza gouache in this one. Let's see. In this one. But, um, it cracked. It's like cracking. You can see pieces are everywhere. And sometimes, like, pieces from here get stuck over here or get stuck in others. Like, pieces over here get stuck in these other ones or it gets stuck in here or in here. This piece of black got stuck. No, that's a, that's a piece of brown. I don't know where that goes. Could be a piece of dirt. This could be a piece of dirt. And my phone, my new phone is so big that this thing can't handle it. So I'm going to use some vegetable glycerin that I got off of Amazon. And if you hear the birds chirping, my window is open. That's right next to my desk. So we're going to start with the Arteza and then my Windsor Newton. I don't have all the shades of the Windsor Newton. These were on sale. I wouldn't suggest buying them if they aren't on sale because it's stupid. They're, they're really expensive. They're like $12 a tube here and they could be even more expensive where you came from. And also these came from Amazon. It's like a it's like a seven dollar palette and it was really cheap so I thought I'd get it. But I saw um my hemi gouache. I got some hemi gouache. I don't use it that much. But um if you guys want to see me make another uh, palette just say so this is the titanium white I might have to buy more of this uh, Arteza. Cap got stuck. The yellow cap got stuck. So, I was going to do a video because I do have, um, I do have like one, uh, drawing that I didn't do. Let's see, one, one, two, 
two, one, we go find the brush. just since this video is probably going to be long because I'm going to be filling up this with some we just mix it mix 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 Get an issue. And if I'm gonna do videos, I'm probably gonna have to do videos where I talk and I'm not used to talking. Mix, 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 mix. I'm just not used to talking that much. Like, if I'm gonna do traditional art videos, I'm gonna have to talk and also say what I'm trying to say. Because I don't, I can't edit them where I talk over top of it. Well, I can, I can use, but I don't want to. That's my problem. I don't want to, I want to edit it on my computer, upload it, and then because I have better editing software on my computer. I found out that vegetable glycerin is apparently used on your face as well, so. So that's an interesting fact that I did not know. One, two. I'm trying not to fill these palettes up that much because they overflow like the yellow one did. So I might fill up these palettes, um, my other palette of Winsor Newton next in another video. So I have some content for next week. I don't want that in there. I don't want it in the vegetable glycerin. There's some, I was trying to set my, uh, set the, vegetable glycerin well uh, the pipette on top of the vegetable glycerin because like it gets everywhere you might have to get more Arteza come on let me just there you go So this might be a long video because I'm trying to mix in everything. Where did I, put that? I got paint all over my hand now. That's fine.
I'm hoping and I'll have to let the palette dry of course have to let the palette dry overnight stuff like that this needs a little more I found out about this palette from like another YouTube video. Like, oh, there's like this cheap palette that you can buy. And I'm like, good, I need one. I need a cheap palette. But I also wanna make a watercolor palette. So I gotta buy some watercolors in the tube and make my own palette. Which I can also film if you guys want. Just me making palettes and talking about random shit. Of course, I swear. It's my style now. Probably gonna. But, um. Let me say a few stories because I was gonna say this story, but. I might as well talk about it now. Let me just scoot in my chair. Um, I used to be a stalker, kind of. That was three. So I used to be a stalker, kind of. I thought, like, in my head, I thought they knew it was a joke. But apparently they didn't, and they like me as a stalker. But I st stalked this guy, we'll call him Gary, for the sake of... Convenience. No, okay. Um, so I st I, I like peeped through his friends um and uh like gate uh what is it wooden gate because it was a joke, it was supposed to be a joke. I didn't get that they didn't get it was a joke. I'm gonna put three drops in from now on um and yeah like it wasn't like oh I'm taking pictures of him while I know where he lives and everything no it was just more like a joke like oh I'm stalking this boy because I like him blah 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 I did like a guy but I, I acted weird towards all the guys that I've dated and Well, I acted weird towards all the guys I dated and stuff, but I, I love, I, I think I had my first love in like junior high and I just let him go because I thought he might as well be happier without me because he seems much happier without me. So I'll, I'll let him go. I won't, you know, bug him or anything. Yeah, that was my stalking career was just like this one incident. And I, I really want to say that I would murder myself. I would straight up. Hold on. Come on.
I would straight up like murder myself, I guess, if um, I were to able to go back in time and be able to undo it, which I wouldn't be able to make content, which sucks, but I'm sorry, this, it's just falling everywhere. How did I put you over here? But, yeah, I, I, it wasn't really, like, a big thing to me. Like, I got, like, made fun of for it, and I don't care now. Like, when I was in junior high, I was just like, you know what, it happened. Let's just move on from it, and they didn't want to move on, so I wasn't able to move on from it. But now that I say it out loud, I'm able to accept it more, because it's going to make it into a video anyways. But, yeah, I had boyfriends. I had, like, boyfriends for, like, a few days, and they weren't, some of them weren't technically my boyfriend. But, yeah. And let me just, like, I, I was going to actually go out and drink a few, uh, like, I think it was a week or two ago. I was going to go out and drink with my mom, maybe get, maybe pick up a chick or something. But no, I was too shy to pick up a guy or a girl. I'm bisexual, by the way, so doesn't bug me too much. Did I already get crimson red? Yeah, I already got crimson red. But I was going to go drink, but there was like one drag queen there because I wanted to see the drag queens. And I'm going to save up my money uh, for a few months and make sure that I have enough so I can go in there and just have some fun. Because my mom was going to get me some alcohol, but it was like $4 for uh, sex on the beach. She wanted me to get a sex on the beach because she didn't want, because I was like, I'm technically a white lightweight because I've never drank before. I'm pretty chubby. Like I'm overweight by 70 pounds. I'm trying to lose it. I've been working out and stuff. But anyways, I'm, I'm trying, I was, I'm going to try to save up a a few dollars or whatever. Maybe. Maybe I'll save up a few dollars. My grandma's going to be so proud of my palette. Um, but I was going to drink that night and I didn't because it would be my first time having alcohol ever. And it sucked because I wanted some alcohol. And my mom's friend didn't arrive who would have bought me some alcohol. And she's like, oh yeah, this drag queen like arrived right after we left. I was like, my God, we could have had some alcohol. I really want to go there, but there was going to be, like, male strippers. 
And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds so fun. And it's, it's August, but it was going to be in September or something like that. Oh, it, no, she was going to take me in September. So I'll save up some money. And stuff. And we'll go have a good time. But I I like drag queens. I, I like drag kings as well. I've never watched RuPaul's Drag Drag Race. I've never watched it. I've I want to watch it, but I don't know what channel it's on or when it's on or if I can just buy the seasons off of Amazon or whatever or watch it on Amazon because I don't have cable television. I'd have to go to my grandma's and watch it cuz my 600 pound life is on at my grandma's and I, I watch that sometimes when I'm there. My mom watches my channel. I think she does anyways. So hi mom. I am making a palette because I need to mix these paints up and make a nice palette for myself. So when I go to grandma's, I have a palette. I haven't gone to my grandma's lately though. I need to go visit her because she likes my company. But I also need to get my hair cut today because today is Tuesday and I have nothing going on today. So I need to get my hair cut because it's like in my video, it's really long. Like you guys don't know how long it is. It's not usually that long. It's usually much shorter on the sides. Like the top is supposed to be long, but the sides are supposed to be short and to my scalp but they're not so I need to get my hair cut and go and get my hair cut and I'm gonna have them because like the lady didn't fade in my haircut and I really think I look better with the fade in my hair to my haircut because it makes my face look less fat and more defined which I do have high cheekbones I found that I realized that, that there's a picture of my face and like my cheekbones are really high but I don't know why my well it's probably because I'm overweight that's why my um my cheekbones aren't showing I can't stay away from sugar though it's my weakness so I'm working out every day I'm trying to I'm doing like hit exercises and everything And so I'm doing hit exercises like every, like three times a week. So it's every other day. And then I have like a weekend off or whatever. And I have to go see my therapist next week. Well, I have two therapists, not just one. I'm not going to explain why. I love this palette. I need to get a bigger, like, stand for my camera, which isn't technically a camera, it's a It's 
something else. One, two, three. It's just a little one. I should have a and it's thick. You can barely get it in this pipette. But yeah, it's working out and trying to work out. Um, that video of me was just so I could tell update you guys on why I haven't been posting because I've been trying to figure out how I can post without like doing stuff. Well, like, having to download it, like, upload it, download it, and whatever. I think I can plug it into my computer now. I haven't tried plugging this phone into my computer because then I can get the video off of it. And... One, two, three. Get the video off of it and have a grand old time. Really happy with this palette. It's so nice. It's just a nice palette. Need a little more. I wish they sold these colors individually. It would be nicer if they sold them individually. Like, specifically white, because white I use kind of a lot. Let me just move the camera so we can see. So I'm going to have to let this like sit out and dry because I don't want the colors to mix together. So I might put it in my bedroom and let it dry in there. But I don't know where I'd put it. You guys want to see me bookbind like without any commentary or with like my videos without any commentary? One, two... Three. Um, you guys could tell me because I don't know what you guys like. Like just stuff without commentary or with it because I prefer with it. I prefer just watching stuff with commentary because it makes it interesting. I don't like watching uh, speed paint without any commentary about like life or whatever they want to talk about. And I don't like Let's Plays without commentary either. Sorry, I was silent for a minute. I don't like Let's Plays without commentary. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I don't like... I like hearing somebody talk and, like, say, Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. My friend had a YouTube channel, like, one of them that I had in high school. He doesn't do it anymore, but I I enjoy I I subscribed because he was my friend and I wanted to see more Minecraft Let's Plays. 
I personally am not doing it for the money because I'm not going to monetize my uh, channel because I know it won't be monetized, monetizable. And I say fucking shit too many times for YouTube to just say, yeah, we'll give you the green light to swear. And my comments section, you can get it demonetized by your comments section. And I don't care what you guys talk about. I read, like, all of your comments. I, I want, like, civil discussion in my comments, but if you guys want to just say hateful things, I don't care. I read all your comments, I just don't respond to all of them. Because sometimes I don't know how to respond to that comment or whatever. And sometimes I like to troll in my comments, which is really fun, I will admit. Let me get another paper towel. But yeah, I like troll in my See, you guys have fun. I like watching you guys just talk. That's why I don't want to turn off my comment section because, oh, you need to be respectful. No, I don't care. I really don't care if you guys are disrespectful in my comments. It doesn't bug me. Which I think Carl Smallwood, because there's one thing about Carl Smallwood that he disabled his comments because he doesn't think his friends can handle it. And I personally think that you shouldn't insult their emotional stability. emotional stability like that because it's like I find that very offensive that somebody would think that I can't handle a hate comment and that's what I find I like his videos because they make me happy they make me laugh when I'm sad and stuff but that's the only criticism I really have besides something else but it was on Twitter and I don't really want to talk about it got paint on my arm Again, more dried shit. So I'm gonna have to let this dry. And hopefully it dries properly and doesn't crack because that's why I'm putting the glycerin in it and mixing it up is so it doesn't crack. I'm sorry, I've been silent for like a few minutes. Again. I was just thinking about like if this exist posted yesterday or not because I've, I've watched them and I need to check and see if they did post something. But um, I'm watching like 
I got my, I got with my vegetable grocer and I got my uh, DVD of Chronicle. I love that movie so much. Funny thing is I used to watch it like every day religiously. Like it was, I have a Richard Simmons VHS tape too, but um. But, um, what was I going to say? But I just, I just love it a lot. I love it. It's a ritual to watch it every day, regardless of how I feel. I feel like a little like lab person like mixing all of these up and then putting them in the dish like mixing them in the dish and stuff but ma mainly the pipette makes me feel like a scientist a lab rat I wonder who got hurt or why I always wonder why sirens are going off sometimes. I, I like I always wonder. Yeah, no, I, I just wonder sometimes. When they go off, like who needs help? What's going on? Is it somebody get shot? Is somebody does somebody have a heart attack? But yeah. Now my palette is all finished. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.